good. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for being here today. I am City Council Member Keith Powers, Chair of the Committee on Criminal Justice, and I'm joined here by my colleagues, uh, Council Member Levine, Council Member Richards, Council, Council Member Amprey Samuel, Council Member Holden, and we were joined by Council Mariello, who may be returning to us. Um, we're here today to vote on three pieces of legislation related to community reinvestment, jail design and reporting, which this committee last heard on October 2nd, 2019. First, we'll be hearing Councilmember Levin's bill, which would establish a commission to make recommendations on reinvestment in communities that have been most impacted by mass incarceration. I want to thank Councilmember Levin for his bill, but also his efforts and work to uh, ensure that there are critical reinvestments made as part of this plan. Second, we will vote on Councilmember Aiello's bill, which requires the Board of Corrections to report on the impact on incarcerated individuals of closing jails on Rikers Island and requires the Mayor's Office of Criminal Justice to report on progress in closing the jails on Rikers Island. The third piece of legislation is my bill, which would establish guiding principles for the design of newly constructed jails and amend the Bill of Rights for incarcerated individuals. This includes mandates for living quarters and natural light, a requirement for air conditioning in all facilities, and a responsibility for all staff to address people in custody by their names. We know just, and I just actually just briefly on that on that legislation, this upholds the purpose of this plan. It also memorializes conversations that have been had throughout this process about how to build facilities that do not uh, create the same mistakes that were made at Rikers Island, but also to discuss what new facilities should be like in offering um, uh, new opportunities to be focused on rehabilitation. Uh, and so um, I'm really grateful for uh, the work that uh, staff and others have done to um, hash out these new facilities and to put more guidance in place about not just the land use application, but what the future looks like. Uh, we know, as I said, that Rikers is not just about building new jails. It's about changing the way that we treat people in custody provi and providing more oversight to transform New York City's justice system. The bills that we are voting today are part of that shift, and I don't know if they're not alone. We have many, much more work to do, and we've done a, no a number of uh, bills and important pieces of legislation in this council to also, you know, also to achieve that goal. Uh, at th this time, uh, we will move to a vote, and I'll ask the committee clerk to uh, take the vote. Thanks. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, Committee on Criminal Justice. Uh, three pre-considered intros. All items are coupled. Chair Powers. I vote aye. Levine. Permission to very briefly explain my vote. You have permission to explain your vote, <laughs> briefly or not. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, this is a momentous week as our city makes historic, uh, takes historic, historic steps towards decarceration and towards a smaller and more humane jail system. And one of the points that many advocates have made, a valid point, is that it's not enough just to have verbal commitments for more humane commission, uh, conditions. We need rock solid legislation to ensure that. And I'm really grateful, Mr. Chair, that you're putting this through. Uh, so that we are on the record um, with our plan to make this uh, the most humane jail system in the, in the country, and I'm very proud of that, and pleased to vote yes. Okay. Thank you. Richards. Permission to explain my vote. Yes. Very briefly. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you to all the sponsors of the bill uh, on, today, on these bills today. Um, I think this is very important what we are doing here today because most people – uh, have the perception that just closing Rikers Island is the end of the conversation. The real work begins as we begin to fully close Rikers Island and ensuring that there's certainly more transparency and certainly more programming and investment in communities of color or how we actually get to a humane system, period. And we obviously, as there, there's been some voices that have said, you know, we don't need jails. <laughs> um, but the way to get there is to make sure that you are addressing the systematic issues that have gotten people there 
in the first place. And that partly that has to do with a lot of disinvestment or no investment historically in pockets of the city, such as Southeast Queens and I'm sure parts of Brooklyn and parts of the Bronx and wherever historically you see a lot of these young men and women entering the system, you look at the common denominator of all of these communities and there are communities that have historically seen very little investment in education, very little investment in programming and touring Rikers Island just a year or two ago, speaking to a lot of the young men and women in that facility, the number one thing they spoke about was the need for training and job opportunities on the island and outside of the island. So I am happy to vote yes on this package of bills because this is once again not just about building new facilities and putting new paint and new blinds um, on a new facility. It's about ensuring that there's real investment and a real commitment from the administration, but more importantly, from the council on ensuring that we can really rehabilitate many of those young people who are languishing on Rikers Island who do have bright futures and who really do need the investment. And with that, I vote aye. And Bree Samuel. I vote aye on all, and um, please add my name to the bills if I'm not already, and thank you for your leadership because these are some great bills. Thank you. Holden. I vote aye. I vote a five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted. Yeah. Okay, we're going to keep the vote open. We're, I think we're expecting uh, another member or so. I think one is on the way, so we'll just keep it open. Okay, thanks. Yes. <laughs> Rory Lansman with the yes. Rolling. Council Member Lansman. Yes. Vote now stands at six in the affirmative. Great. Thank you. Uh, and thank you, and I echo many of the comments made today about the importance of this work today and the vote tomorrow. Thank you to everybody for your uh, vote here today, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks. This is adjourned.